welcome back everyone. I will be doing fencing in the next video, I promise. Um, so there's one thing about this wood industry that I don't want to talk about. And it ain't this wood. And it ain't that wood. Um, it's a wood that, it's actually kind of not very talked about. It's not talked about a lot on YouTube. Well, remember when I did the tree trimming along the fence line and one of them spike places? Well, I actually used peanut oil instead of bar oil. That way you get the system flushed out. Now you might be thinking, well, let me flip it around and show you what's going on. That's right. Applewood. I want to take some time and talk about this, and then we'll actually chip some up, and then we'll save some. And in order for apple trees to produce great, they have to be pruned a lot like last year 2023 I took out just as much as I got here it did not produce one apple like such it didn't produce one I'm telling you this year it's better I mean Got some there, got some there. This is about the average size this year. I don't know. Raccoons and rabbits aren't eating on them. <clears throat> like I said, you really have to keep these things pruned. Because, you know, apple trees, they will, uh, I don't know what the technical term here is. Let me dumb it to my knowledge. They will try to produce, or they will spend energy, their energy, trying to produce something on a dead limb, which does not yield really anything. Well, it doesn't yield anything, even on the good stuff. So that's why you got to keep your apple trees pruned. So, smoker wood. Do you cut it in pieces? Because I mean, a lot of this is small. This is branches, basically. Like twigs, not branches. I mean, it is branches, but it's, it's small stuff, okay? So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to chip this, the bigger stuff. Actually, I'll just probably chip it all. But I'm going to keep the bigger stuff. I've got a 20 gallon container. I just bought it at the old the dollar store. It's 80 quart, 20 gallon, four quarts per gallon. I think my mass sufficient enough for that. So anyway, I gotta get this turned around, get the chipper back on, and then we're gonna do the thing.
see this here was like an inch limb. Get all the little stuff, but then the chips are just too. I'll probably only do the big stuff. This is the last of it right here. Um, you really can't control the size chips you have. With the smaller stuff, it's just small. But with the bigger stuff, it's a little bigger. This is the biggest thing that was here, so it'll make quite a bit. Um, another thing is, I talked about the peanut oil. Would you rather use something that's food safe? or something that you put in a chainsaw. Make sure you're using some kind of food safe oil. Anyway, let's go ahead and get this chipping.
little yielded off that one limb. About bogged the tractor out. Did you see that? Didn't have enough RPM. This is off that one limb. Yep. Well, anywho, I'll see y'all in the next one.